I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Agilent Technologies. Today we have a Visual Basic program for Excel that we're going to use to measure an IV curve. The program will be controlling our E3632A power supply and for our DUT we're going to be using our electronic load and it's quite noisy and the reason for that is it can sync up to 600 watts of DC power. The DC load has three primary functions. It can act as a constant current source, a constant resistance source, or constant voltage source. So we'll go ahead and, and plot each of those modes and take a look at it using our power supply. So let's get started with constant resistance. We've got our power supply all set up to measure. So it's going to output a voltage in column A and then take the measurement in column B. And it's going to increment the voltage and, and take another measurement. And we're going to work down through all of our voltages and then we'll go ahead and plot the results on our chart. So let's run the program. So all of our measurements are completed and there's our plot of our constant resistance source. So let's move on to constant current. We've now set up our DC electronic load for a constant current mode. Let's go ahead and rerun our program. So once again it's going to output each of the voltages and as it outputs a voltage it's going to measure the current. And as you can see the, the output is a flat line at 2 nF amps, so it measures 2 nF amps for each of the voltages. So real quickly let's look at the underlying program. So this is our, our visual basic program that we're, that's making the measurements. And so to start with we reset the instrument and we clear the status registers so really putting the instrument back in its um, default state. We then go ahead and select the 15 volt range. The E3632A power supply is a dual range power supply. So it has two different ranges. We've selected the lower voltage range which has more current. We then set a, a current limit. And then in our, in our loop, what we're doing is we're outputting the voltages that we put in our Excel program and for each of those voltages we then measure the current and we write that to our Excel chart. And then after all done we turn the output of the power supply off. So that's our, our program that we've been using to measure the constant resistance and then the constant current. Now we're going to use a different variation of this program to make our next measurement. We're going to put our DUT into the constant voltage mode and so we want the power supply now to be a constant current source. So I'll go ahead and um, bring up a second program. Okay, we moved on to our second program, which we're going to use to measure our DUT when it's in a constant voltage mode. And so it takes a little bit of explaining. We can't have um, both the source and the load in a constant voltage mode. So we need to put our power supply into a constant current mode. And the way we're going to do that, there is no button you push. It's actually the settings that cause the power supply to go in its constant current mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our power supply to output 5 volts. We're going to set up our load to be at 3 volts. And since they're connected, the power supply is actually going to try to drop 2 volts across the wire. So that's a lot of current. And so what we're going to do is we're going to limit the amount of current that the power supply actually outputs. And so those current limits are what's shown in column A of our Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to limit the current to 1 amp, take a measurement. We're going to limit the current to 1.2 amp, take a measurement. We're going to go down the list until we've measured all the corresponding voltages to our current. So with the current limit set, the power supply will be operating in a constant current mode. And we'll be able to measure our DUT as it's a constant voltage source. So I first want to run the program without the load connected, just so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see, when we run the program with no load connected, the power supply is able to output its 5 volts. So that's what we're seeing on our chart right now. Now we're going to go ahead and connect up our, our load. So it's going to force the voltage to be 3 volts. And we're going to go ahead and um, make those measurements. With our load connected, we'll go ahead and rerun the program. And as you can see with the load connected, the load is driving the voltage to be 3 volts. So that's our DUT 
when it's used as a constant voltage source. So here's a simple program that measures the IV curve of a DUT. Um, we used an electronic load today and showed the three different modes, the constant current mode, the constant resistant mode, and the constant voltage mode. Thanks for watching.